Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if Task Manager is showing very high disk usage and your computer seems to be lagging on your Windows 10 device. So this should hopefully be a fairly quick and straightforward tutorial. And without further ado, let's jump right into it. And we're going to start by opening up the Start menu. And you want to type in Services. Best match should say services. You want to left click on that. And now you want to go down until you find a server that says Superfetch right here. And you want to right click on it. Left click on properties. Underneath startup type, you want to change it to disabled. And then click on apply and then OK. You can always go back and re enable it at a later time if you choose to do so. Close out of here. Now I'd recommend going and right clicking on your taskbar, which is basically the bar which is typically along the bottom of your screen. You want to right click on that and then left click on task manager from this menu. If your task manager view looks like this, you want to click on more details and expand the view. And then go underneath the startup tab at the top by left clicking on it one time. I'd recommend turning off any startup entries listed in here. None of these should be critical Windows processes. And I recommend leaving on your antivirus or anti-malware application software. Other than that, you can pretty much disable any of these safely by just clicking on the application itself right here. And then clicking on Disable. And you can see the status will change to Disable. If you ever choose to re-enable, just click on the Enable button. And that should turn it back on. So pretty straightforward with that. And then I'd also recommend going into the Star menu again and then go underneath Programs. Best match should be add or remove programs. You want to open that up. Now over here on the right you'll see a list of programs that are installed on your computer. If you're unfamiliar with them or you no longer have a need or use for them, I'd recommend uninstalling them. Now most of them should be Microsoft Corporation because a lot of them are built-in apps. Those should not take up that much memory on your computer, but you're more than welcome to just left click on it and then uninstall for most of them. Some of them we're going to have some issues with uninstalling and I'd recommend just leaving them alone. But you can see most of them do have the ability, like Feedback Hub, Get Help, obviously it's probably not going to be able to remove. But most applications that are installed by a user should be able to be uninstalled fairly easily. And that's a pretty straightforward method as well. And I would recommend if you have any antiviruses on your computer, do a full scan of your system. Maybe it'll find some leftover remnants that you could hopefully clean up a little bit. And if you have disk cleanup, I'd recommend running a disk cleanup scan as well. Easily accessible since it is a built-in Windows application. So I do hope this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out. And as always, thank you for watching. And I look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.